Okay, this is part two of yesterday's testing, so I have some other ideas. This is out of another drum we have here at Z98. It's testing E93. We're going to mix this with some different things today and find out what happens. We're now measuring 87 octane from the same shell station. So shells 87 octane and 93 octane both have 10%, 11% ethanol in them. Okay, what we have here is 16 ounces of tap water and E93 mixed. I filled 8 ounces of E98, or actually E93, and then we fill it with water. You can see that there's some separation on the top. The separation on the top, I am guessing, is the oil additive that we put in all the ethanol that we get here. We put one quart of oil per 55-gallon drums for lubricant and all the ethanol we run. Now we're going to dump this 50-50 mix into a tank and use the meter to see what it comes up with for ethanol content. Talking over the pump, which is in a tin can, um, this is a 50-50 mix of E93 and tap water. The results are uh, surprising. So with that much water in ethanol, it will read E100. Okay, now what we did was we took the 50% water, 50% E93 that we mixed, and we dumped it into this beaker. Then we added 8 ounces of 87 octane. As you can see, gasoline and water don't mix. This is the same way that the E85 testers work that we sell that are the glass tubes. So it ends up telling you what your percentage of ethanol is. So if this was that test beaker, Right now you'd be reading E50, which is about correct because the 100% ethanol mixed with 100% water and a 50-50 mixture would be half of this mixture, if you understand what I'm saying. I'm not going to try to explain it. Anyway, the top half of this is all gasoline right now. The bottom half is ethanol and water. Because ethanol and water are miscible, they don't separate. If this was in your gas tank, the best that you could hope for was that your pump would pick up all of this mess on the bottom, which is 50% ethanol. In reality, this is E50 on the bottom. And then at some point, it would just switch over to the gasoline and your flex fuel sensor would pick those two up. If it went back and forth, what you'd probably see is something like, unfortunately, this would read E100 and this would read E10. So you would probably see your ethanol gauge going from E100, which isn't true because there's too much water in this, to an E10 mixture. Both ways would be dangerous for the car. By showing this, the main thing you have to really worry about is getting water in your fuel, which, I mean, has always been the case since an automobile was built. Okay, we're going to go out there testing now. Okay, now what we have is the same beaker. We put 8 ounces of E93 in it, which is RE98. And then we filled the rest with 87 octane. And as you can see, it's a perfect mixture. The car would run perfectly on this. There's no separation in the beaker. Now we're going to test it through the meter. My guess is this should end up at about E63. See what happens. Okay, now this is the, that mixture that we just had, which was E11 and E93 in a 50-50 ratio. Looks like around E55. Okay, what we have now is 100% tap water on this drum. I'm going to start adding ethanol to see when the ethanol content will change to anything but E100 so we can figure out the percentage when we know the meter doesn't work. Okay, we're at 16 ounces of water and 16 ounces of ethanol. I'm going to add more ethanol. We're now at 32 ounces of ethanol to 16 ounces of water. Okay, we were at 
E100 stuck from the water. We put 16 ounces of ethanol in on top of 16 ounces of water. The ECA stayed at E100. We added another 16 ounces of ethanol, making it 32 ounces of ethanol to 16 ounces of water. It still stayed at E100. When I filled the next beaker and we turned the switch back on, it had automatically switched over to E0. Now we're going to add water back in and see if we can't figure out where the ratio is, where it goes from one to the other. I have not added any water and it's back at E100. It looks like it's switching. It would seem at this point in the mixture that the meter is just confused. Still confused. I've added another eight ounces of water now. It looks like it's going to stay at E100. So we now have 24 ounces of water and 32 ounces of E98 in there and it has tricked the meter to think that it's E100. I guess that concludes my testing.